Good morning and welcome. <coughs> oh my. Let's try that again. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day 14. I am up very early today. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it's 20 to 8 in the morning, and if you can hear it, it's a garbage truck in the background. I'm up early today because it's going to be a very, very hot day today, and we're going to get started early on stuff. So just to beat the heat, I'm going to have some breakfast. Then I'm going to edit the vlog from yesterday. And then I have a baking thing I want to do with you guys. And then I'm going to get into the edit for the vlog tutorial and hopefully have it finished to a point that I want it finished. So and we're going to do that all before the heat really sets in. Today it's going to reach about 42 degrees, I think they predicted. And that's hot. That's very, very hot. But anyway let's crack on with the day so it's been a quite a couple a couple of few blah, blah, blah. um so it's been quite a few hours since i last spoke to you i think i spoke to you like around 8 a.m it is now 20 to 1 in the afternoon and it's warm i've just spent the morning editing editing yesterday's vlog and then i've done the first draft edit of the blog tutorial so i'm 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 on a roll today. I'm so happy. My room is nice and dark because it's very warm outside. I should try and do a weather check for you. Of course, my phone has to be in the other room. It is currently 40.7 degrees. You should get up to 42 uh, and it possibly will in the next hour or so. So this afternoon, I'm going to get into our uh, baking tutorial. I'm going to put the aircon on. I'm just going to chill out and I'm going to do some fun baking but for right now i'm going to do the voiceover for my tutorial um and then we'll do some baking and why is it going out of focus again i swear this camera needs me so i've just locked myself away in my room the door is closed the window is closed and i'm about to take the battery out of this clock so there's no noise in this room i'm gonna have to do this really quickly because it's getting warm in here I mean, already it's like intense. Um, but I am now about to uh, do my little voiceover for the tutorial, and I'm gonna stick you on a time lapse uh, just to show you how it's done, how I do it. If you didn't know, I do all of my voiceovers. Uh, oh, hello, YouTube comment. I do all my voiceovers onto my phone, just with the voice recorder, voice memos app. That's what I just, I just record my voice onto there, upload it onto my computer, and then insert it into the tutorial. Easy peasy. Let's get this done, because it's getting warm in here. It's just gone just after two o'clock and I have finished all of my editing for the day. I've gotten the tutorial up to a point that I wanted to for the day, so hooray! Now we're going to do some uh, baking, even though the recipe that we're doing is not a baking recipe. Like, the oven won't be on. It's all just going to be set in the fridge. There's a little bit of chocolate melting, but other than that, there's no baking. So let's go do that now. So I've donned my beautiful Christmas apron. It's got some kookaburras and kangaroos and a koala. And this is what we will be making. Mini Christmas puddings. These are the ingredients that you'll need if you'd like to make them. And then the method. So what you need to make this is 800 gram Christmas cake. I've just got a 700 gram fruit pudding. Uh, you need 200 grams of chocolate and 40 grams of butter. It's two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then to decorate just some white chocolate. And then I'm going to go with jaffas and spearmint leaves as my holly and berries. Also got out some uh, bowls. I have a saucepan on the stove ready to melt things. Muffin pan with cases. 
then you also need one of these things a food processor to mash up our Christmas cake so that's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna mash up the Christmas cake and then put the chocolate the 200 grams of chocolate on to melt and then we're gonna mix it all together with the butter that also melts with the chocolate and then also the maple syrup so we'll do that now before whizzing up my Christmas cake I'm just gonna melt the butter and chocolate together the book says that it should look like fine breadcrumbs but I think because I'm using a pudding it's all quite squishy already but we'll go with it so I've put the mixture in a bowl and I'm just checking on the chocolate and butter and it's melting quite nicely so I'm just gonna wait till this melts and then we'll add them together so chocolate and butter is ready to go chocolate and butter to go into the crumbed mix just be careful the bowl is hot and now I'm going to put two tablespoons of maple syrup into the mixture. So that's one. And that's two. And a little bit more glue block. And now with a wooden spoon, I'm just going to mix it all together and see what it looks like. Okay, well this is what my mixture now looks like. You can't complain that it's dry. It's very, very wet. Because now I have to roll these into balls and it's like really gooey but um anyway we'll do it I'm also beginning to get very sweaty like I can feel the sweat beginning to pull so I might have to turn the aircon on soon I think so I'm just going to quickly pop some uh, cases into our little pan here and then roll some balls of this and put it in the little cupcake things so I've just reread the recipe or the method and we don't put them in the little uh, pen in the little cupcake things yet I have to put it on a tray with baking paper and then put it in the fridge for 30 minutes so that's what I'm gonna do because our house is so hot at the moment they're sort of coming out as like these splodgy bob blobs Bodgy blobs. So I'm actually going to put the mixture just in the freezer for about 10 minutes or so just for it to harden up and then I'm going to come back and redo the shaping of my um, pudding balls. <laughs> so I'll see you in another 10 minutes and we'll give it another go and I'll also put the aircon on because it's hot and I'm melting. That is literally how I feel at the moment. A splodgy blob. Let's have a look and see it's okay oh yeah I think that will do okay come out now please okay so I've only just made 12 they're still a bit squishy so I'm gonna put them back in the freezer and I still have a little bit of um, mixture left so I'm gonna do some more on another tray Okay, so I've taken these out of the freezer and they're quite firm now, which is good. And I've just popped them in the little cases here. I've also cut up my spearmint leaves. Jack has had to go in the freezer because they were melting. And then I've also melted some 100 grams of white chocolate. And that's going to be drizzled on top of here. And then I'm going to put a jaffa and some leaves on and we're all good. There we have them. I'm going to stick them back in the freezer just to harden up a little bit more. But they look really cool. Oh, I'm super happy with them. Very cute. Taste test. Yeah, now oh, cold. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I'm not all in my face. Mmm. They're really nice. A bit cold because they come out of the freezer, but mmm, really, really good. 
So it's pretty late in the evening now. I can't remember the last time we chatted. I think I might have been in the kitchen, I think. But before I say goodnight to you all, we need to do the advent calendar. I almost forgot about it, to be honest. I was about to get ready to go to bed, and then I realized I need to do the advent calendar and finish the vlog for the day. So that's what we're going to do. Let's have a look at the advent calendar. So let's open day 14 and see what is inside. This one looks pretty exciting. Oh, another tape measure. Wow, how many more do we need? Oh, oh it's like a keyring type one. Well, I might put that one in my bag maybe. It's day 14. So today's been a really long day been very very hot I think the hottest it got was about 43 degrees in the area that I live and the heat just really drains it, it really drains you it makes you really tired so I'm ready for bed tomorrow is another busy day tomorrow I am back at work for four days Friday Saturday Sunday Monday I'm back at work and they're all sort of biggish late sort of days so we'll see what happens Tomorrow I will be finalising the block tutorial and that one will go up on Saturday. I thought I was going to put it up on Friday but today's vlog will be tomorrow's video and then Saturday will be the tutorial. I think that makes sense. So it, it will be vlogmas day 15 which is what the when the tutorial will be. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you are going to make those Christmas puddings. And if you do, show me a picture on Instagram or something like that. And let me know what you think of the recipe. Again, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye.